All right, so I've combed through hundreds of different passive income opportunities and come up with my list of five that actually work today. These are highly realistic and profitable ways for you to earn passive income doing a business that can still succeed. So make sure to watch until the end to get the full scoop on each idea and how you can implement it. Thank you to Big Commerce for sponsoring this video. Let's get started. So the first passive income idea is selling digital products and this should be able to make you between six to seven figures per year. Digital products are the best type of consumer products you can sell period. And it's going to take a lot of convincing to make me think otherwise. Not only are the profit margins astronomical, your products can sell 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, and you only need to make the product once. Imagine making, let's say, a PDF once and then being able to sell a digital download of it for the next few years. That is the epitome of passive income. For example, I created a course called the Six Figure YouTube Academy back in 2020, and it sells on autopilot to this day. Yes, it was a huge investment of my time up front, but after that initial creation process, there is not too much you need to do. And think about the product cost for me. Besides an annual platform fee I pay to Kajabi, the cost of fill an order is literally $0. So given that I don't run paid ads and I do everything organically, my profit margin on a sale is almost 100%. You can't say that about physical products at all. If you wanna get into the affiliate space where you can basically have people promote your product and they earn a percentage of the sale, then digital products like courses are perfect. Since we have so much profit to work with, you can pay huge affiliate commissions. I've seen some people pay up to 50% commissions for the digital products, which means you're going to get a lot of people who want to promote your product. With physical products, we are working with way smaller profit margins of let's say 10 to 30%, and therefore you're only able to pay out let's say like five to 10% to affiliates, which makes attracting these partnerships a lot harder. And then going back to the awesomeness of digital products, I'm not the only one that's making money from courses and digital products like that. There are so many more successful people in the space that are absolutely crushing it. Yeah, I probably have like 50 plus friends all doing really big things in the space. Unfortunately, my own digital product sales make up less than 5% of my income. But as you can see, there are people who have really cracked the code doing six to seven figures per month. Your audience is the entire world pretty much since they're sold on the internet and it's a location independent business, meaning you don't need to be limited to one location. So if you wanna sell digital products and make passive income, first choose a skill or knowledge that you have and turn it into something that others will find useful. If you're a pro photography, create a course on that. If you're an expert at productivity, teach people how to be more productive. Heck, you can even sell fonts, templates, ebooks, really the whole list is endless. You just have to identify what value you can offer and package it up as a digital product, offer free value to people to build up some eyeballs on social media, and that will help you create organic sales. Overall, digital products are an amazing niche to get into. And I really think that a lot of you watching this will crush it. A lot of people are creating their own e-commerce businesses this year for passive income. And if you're thinking about creating one as well, Big Commerce is the platform for you. Big Commerce is a platform that allows you to start selling products online with services like online store creation, search engine optimization, marketing, and security, just to name a few. In the last 10 years, I've really learned to appreciate all-in-one tools that can help you scale your business to the next level. And BigCommerce is a platform I have used and trust 100%. With their platform, any business can seamlessly list optimize and sell their products across a wide range of channels, including Google, Amazon, Facebook, Instagram, and more. Their drag and drop templates make beautiful and functional websites easy for anyone to create. For me, cutting costs and expenses is huge, which is another reason why Big Commerce is great because they don't nickel and dime you. They have an industry high amount of built-in sales tools, giving you the boost you need to scale your business fast in today's market while spending less. Plus they offer 0% transaction fees, which means the savings really add up as you increase your sales volume. Overall, I feel it's a much better solution than Shopify for most small business owners. So if you guys are looking for the easiest way to build, run, and grow your online business, go to Big Commerce and start your free 14-day trial with the link in the description. Again, that link is gonna be down below and I really encourage you guys to try them out. And now back to the video. All right, so another really effective passive income idea is a super niche form of affiliate marketing where you sell leads for service-based businesses. With this, the income is pretty uncapped and you can get really creative. So basically there are tons of businesses local to you or in your country, businesses like landscaping, pool design, accounting firms, solar companies, really the list goes on. Something that all of these businesses needs more of is leads and that is where you come in. Basically you're gonna be creating content on a website that attracts people looking for information on these services. For example, you make a website that's about 
Solar Energy 101. All free information about solar panels, installation, whatever it is. Naturally, the people who land on your website are in the process of or are already actively interested in getting solar panels or solar energy. That presents an awesome opportunity where you can actually refer them to a select few solar partners that you have connected with. Each referral, you can charge them a set amount of money, let's say $100 per lead, or $1,000 per referral or something like that. It all depends on how much money the business will make as a result of the new business. So you can see how this can quickly scale since so many people are looking to add solar energy to their home. If you have a well-performing website that ranks on Google for certain search terms, then you're going to absolutely crush it. You can apply this concept to social media, for example, running a TikTok page or doing Instagram or YouTube. Overall, this is a form of affiliate marketing, except that it's geared towards leads and referrals to small businesses that perform services. You have a smaller target audience, but huge commissions on the back end that can really make this passive income source extremely profitable. I will say that the hard work comes in creating the website and content to get eyeballs, but then figuring out a good creative way to refer those eyeballs to service-based businesses will be where the passive income comes from. It's a system that works on the back end 24-7 with the entire internet as your possible viewers. Plus, you don't need to pay for ads as long as you're focusing on organic content, and so your profit margins are going to be astronomical. I can guarantee that demand for leads is basically infinite and businesses are always willing to pay a ton. That's because the math works in their favor and so it really is a win-win situation. So yeah, a content-based lead gen website with strategic partnerships with businesses can be an amazing business opportunity that leads to passive income. Next up is making YouTube videos and more specifically, YouTube automation. This can allow you to make over $1,000 per day on AdSense. Now you've heard of millionaires becoming made with YouTube and it's no joke. More and more people are becoming successful on YouTube, ad rates are high, and the platform is only growing from here. There's eight year olds like Ryan Kaji taking home $26 million in one year, 25 year olds like my friend Brian Jung who made $3.7 million last year. And yeah, right now YouTube has more than 2.6 billion monthly users around the world, making it the second largest social media platform under Facebook. What's really cool is that you don't have to have a huge following online to make a living. In certain niches, you can make between $30 to $80 per 1,000 views, which is what Jessica Stansberry was making back when she had 66,000 subscribers. I have a lot of personal experience with monetizing a YouTube channel and I think a lot of people are still sleeping on it. Not only can you talk about things you like or express your creativity, but videos, they're like pieces of real estate, meaning that they generate money from the time you post them until, well, forever. I'll say that this is probably the hardest one to start out of everything on this list. I just wanna be like real with you guys because most people who start making videos don't ever end up making money from it. It takes a lot of time and consistency to be able to generate a monetizable YouTube channel. And most people just get burnt out and lose the passion for making videos. But if you can spend months to years creating consistent content, I guarantee you'll have a channel that makes money. If you don't want to be on camera and want a truly passive income source with little time commitment, then I'd actually recommend looking into a faceless YouTube channel with YouTube automation. In this business model, you basically hire out script writing, editing, voiceover, thumbnail making, and everything else to produce faceless videos. People are are seeing a lot of success with this and it's a great alternative to a more traditional channel like mine where my whole face is plastered all over the channel. YouTube automation is far more passive, it's more discreet, and you can still bring in hefty YouTube AdSense and brand sponsorship revenues. So yeah, when I say YouTube, it's such a broad category and you can really niche in many different ways. Now, I just started building a faceless channel of my own, although I'm more involved in it, but it's still in its infancy stages. However, while I build that up, I can actually monetize heavily on my other channels. It's really great because with this channel, I now have a business that makes AdSense revenue 24-7, 365 days a year on autopilot. Google's AdSense platform handles all the ads on the channel and they give you 55% of the ad revenue that comes in while taking a 45% cut. And in 2021, my channel generated about $800,000 in revenue, of which I took home about $441,000. If I were to stop making videos today, this channel would continue to bring in ad revenue, although it would slowly go down. So yeah, this passive income stream totally works and I'm proof of it. You can get paid to make videos and it just requires a lot of patience and quality content. If you're not down to be on camera, like I said, there are ways to make money through faceless channels. And overall, the list is really endless with content creation. And I just want you to know that if you can get eyes watching your stuff, there will be an infinite number of ways you can monetize in the future. Overall, it's a fantastic way to make somewhat passive income through content. Next up is investing and the amount of money you can make with this is pretty much unlimited. So of everything on this list, this is the one that everyone should be doing 
all the time, along with whatever other side hustles or businesses you're doing. This one should always be happening in the background because if you invest a certain way, you'll find that you can make money spending less than a couple minutes per week. Historical data has shown that since the 1970s, the S&P 500 has grown exponentially over the past five decades. In fact, if you invested $100 in the S&P 500 at the beginning of 1970, you'd have about $20,000 by the year 2022. When you think of investing, you might think of people that day trade options, forex, and all that stuff. While this can be a good side hustle if you're really, really good at it, like top 5% of people, for most, this is just not a good way to try and make money. Most people are going to lose money by day trading and the biggest side effect with this type of investing is that it takes up a lot of mental space. Mental space that you could have used to do another side hustle. Instead what I recommend doing is just investing passively in stocks and crypto. Do a weekly buy order that doesn't change and this allows you to dollar cost average into the stock market. If you look at the history of stocks over the long term then yes the stock market always goes up. If you look at the short term well unfortunately that's not the case. So what I recommend doing is buying a diverse portfolio portfolio of index funds like VOO, growth and dividend stocks, along with Bitcoin and Ethereum if you are a believer. If the last 100 years has taught us anything, it's that you will make money in the long term if you buy and hold. This is a tail-driven world, meaning a select few days of big movement control a vast majority of gains in the market. If you try and time it, you'll likely miss out on those days, which will render your investing useless. So yeah, you guys, my best advice would just be to think of investing as super simple. Dollar cost average into the market and and let your equity increase slowly over time while focusing on your money-making hustles. If you guys want some free stocks, a few platforms like Webull and Moomoo are doing crazy free stock promotions right now, and I'm gonna put those links down below. Like I said, this one should be really passive and something that each and every one of you guys watching this does because the concept is so simple and replicable that even a caveman could do it. All right, so the next passive income stream we're talking about is Airbnb arbitrage. And with this, you should be able to make one to $5,000 profit per month for each property. Airbnb arbitrage is an up and coming way to make money passively through real estate. This is especially becoming popular with all the influencers nowadays teaching others how to do Airbnb. I mean, just look at this guy who's making over $8,000 per month in passive income from his Airbnb. And he learned everything just from free information he found on YouTube. You guys won't be able to get to that level right away, but research still shows that it's really profitable with the average Airbnb host making about $924 per month. Essentially, you're renting out properties and then subletting them on Airbnb. For example, let's say that you rent an apartment for $2,000 a month. If you're able to rent it out for $200 a day and you achieve a 75% occupancy rate, then you are bringing in $4,500 a month. Subtracting expenses and fees, this might leave you with about $2,000 profit each month. Of course, it's easier said than done because Airbnb arbitrage is a time-intensive setup process, but with that comes really high reward. You want to first figure out the regulations in the area you want to do this in. For example, Las Vegas doesn't allow Airbnbs freely. Same with most parts of Honolulu and many other cities. Next, you need to find a landlord that actually allows you to sublease, since many won't actually allow that. Getting their permission can be pretty challenging, but there are plenty that will say okay if you are convincing enough. Then it comes down to furnishing the property and then building up great reviews on Airbnb. Professional photos are a must, and hiring a great manager and cleaners is also super important. If you guys are able to pull this off with multiple properties, this can be a great cash flow business where once processes and team members are set up, it won't actually require that much input from you. So yeah, this is one of the businesses that has a huge learning curve, but I truly believe that once you master it, this can easily become a six to seven figure business. If you don't want to convince landlords to let you rent, you can also just buy the properties yourself. But of course that takes a lot more cash on hand. Yeah, this is one of the more difficult ways to make passive income on this list, but it is an extremely lucrative strategy that can be replicated over and over. And I personally know some very successful real estate investors who do this strategy. It's interesting because because it's such a new concept that only now are courses coming out about the strategy. The people that are teaching this stuff now have just become successful enough that they are willing to share their tactics. So I'd say that now is a pretty good time to do it because you'd still be very, very early. Anyways, those are five passive income ideas that are still working today in 2022. Passive income has absolutely changed my life. I just wanted to make this video to help inspire you guys to pursue passive income yourself. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to share it with a friend and also like and subscribe for more content just like this. I make a ton of videos about personal finance and investing in entrepreneurship. Thank you so much for your time and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.